In the 1980s, buy, B-U-Y, was the watchword for U.S. consumers. But the byproduct of their spending may be a United States woefully behind the competition in the 1990s. Irving R. Levine looks at this past decade, what we've gained, what we've lost, and what lies ahead. The American consumer was the economy's hero of the decade and in some ways the villain. The hero because spending by Americans kept the economy rolling into its eighth year without a recession, a record. A villain because much of what the U.S. consumer bought was made by lower paid, but often more efficient workers in other countries, mainly Japan. This hurt key American industries and created a huge trade deficit. An unprecedented amount of the buying put many Americans deep in debt, just like the government. The Reagan presidency's military buildup and popular tax cuts pushed the country into staggering debt. Nevertheless, with U.S.-Soviet relations defrosting and arms cuts likely, George Bush had a good chance of keeping his pledge into the 90s. Read my lips. No new taxes. A diminished dollar enabled foreigners to buy up U.S. property, often at bargain prices including the Japanese purchase of such U.S. icons as Rockefeller Center and Columbia Pictures, a blow to U.S. pride. Yet despite it all, except for the deep recession of 1981 and 82, the U.S. economy flourished through the decade. 19 million more Americans were on payrolls. The average American's weekly wages grew by 49%. But what one dollar could buy at the outset of the decade took a dollar and 64 cents at the end. A 64 percent rise in the cost of living. Workers who struck for higher wages often lost because the tough tone set by Ronald Reagan when air traffic controllers walked out put unions at a disadvantage. If they do not report for work within 48 hours, they have forfeited their jobs and will be terminated. It started out as a go-go era for insiders on Wall Street. Some ended up in jail. And for all investors, the bottom fell out in the October shocks of 1987 and 89. But overall, the market enjoyed a spectacular decade. Going into the 90s, the immediate question is whether the Federal Reserve will lower interest rates to keep the slowing economy from tipping into a recession, or will resist doing so out of fear of fueling inflation. The bigger question for the next decade is whether the people who run the economy, the President, the Fed, Congress, industry, labor, can keep the U.S. from losing more ground in world competition. The U.S. has already lost its edge in auto, steel, textiles, and is being challenged in high technology. The record of the 80s is not encouraging. Irving R. Levine, NBC News, Washington. Drugs. When the decade began, they were thought of as fun, fashionable, even funny. But now, mind-altering chemicals are a national scourge. Videotape editor Don Score assembled these images of the drug culture. About $2,000 an ounce. I know you ain't gonna believe this, but if you've been doing it longer than two weeks, you're a junkie. I don't want to be responsible for turning you into a drug addict. Oh, man, I ain't gonna turn you into a drug addict. Come on, man, give me a little hit. Hey, it's bad for you, man. Don't you read Ann Landers? This is drugs. This is your brain on drugs. Any questions? Driving that train, how cocaine. Richard Pryor, the comedian and writer, was badly burned in an accident. The Los Angeles coroner said last night Belushi died because he injected himself with a mixture of heroin and cocaine. Just say no. The death of college basketball star Len Bias has shocked the nation. We're getting tough on drugs and we mean business.
park just across the street from the White House. Down with dope. Down with dope. Up with hope. Up with hope. I want a new drug. One that does what it should. These people were going to take their streets back. Uh, and that uh, message is clear and unambiguous. Back, back now. Hey, man. Can't you read? <laughs> you kidding me? You think that's going to stop me? <laughs> yes, I do. Kids can draw the line on drugs. Drug free zones. Don't, don't, just, just don't. The big lie. The big lie. I said God would have given us wings if they wanted us high. These infants uh, are born to mothers don't, that abuse don't, drugs. Just don't. The big lie. The big and even the most defenseless among us are at risk. Don't, don't, just, just don't. The big lie. The big lie.